Hiya, I'm here today to talk you through the process we can sometimes see in bands of hard rock that form as a result of erosional processes. This particular formation involves the formation of cracks, caves, arches, stacks and stumps. Cracks at the base of the headland within the intertidal zone become exposed to erosive processes, particularly hydraulic action. These cracks widen as a result of erosion and also as a result of weathering processes such as salt crystallisation. Continued erosion through the processes of hydraulic action and abrasion deepens the crack to eventually form a cave, as we can see on the image on the left hand side. Now this cave is further exposed to erosion through a process called wave refraction which directs the greatest concentration of wave energy onto the sides of the headland. Wave refraction affects all three sides of the headland and if therefore a cave has formed on the opposite side too, erosion may cut through the cave to form an arch. An arch is never too stable, it's very unstable. Vertical joints in the rock face are exposed to large destructive waves whilst the top of the arch is exposed to chemical and biological weathering. Over time the arch can no longer withstand its own weight and therefore collapses into the sea to leave a single pillar of rock called a stack. Over time the stack is eroded by both the sea at the base of the rock to create a wave cut notch and also from subaerial processes such as weathering. The stack eventually shrinks to form a stump as we have on the diagram here in front of us before this is totally eroded away and transported throughout the coastal system. Overall therefore the cliff has been in retreat. The dotted red line marks the previous location of the headland but this has been lost through the erosive process I've just talked through to form a new location for the headland.